most memorable backstage fight? Uh, there's a couple of them. I'll give you, I'll give you two. First one was New Jack against Dancing with Dudley. One of the, the original Dudley boys. It was, mm-hmm. it was a different, because we came up with the gimmick. Uh, it was actually Raven. Like, see, we were at the Philly Click, so we would sit around and talk all the time. And Raven would write little notes on a napkin if we're out at a nightclub or something, because everything in his mind, they put on TV. I mean, he's a genius when it comes to gimmicks. And uh, it was pretty cool because, uh, you know, we got to work, you know, with him. And I got to hang out with Raven every day because he lived in Philadelphia. So we go to the gym together every single day. And every night we were end up out together. So we were at clubs all, all every night. And uh, the fight, New Jack and Dancer was Dudley. What was that all about? Uh, they got in an argument. They had started in the ring. And I guess New Jack came in the back of the locker room and he had his nightstick. And then when, they, when the Dudley boy came in, dancing with Dudley, he was called, he was like the Indian Dudley. New Jack blasted him in the head <laughs> with, a, with a black jet, with a nightstick. I even felt bad. I was like, Jack, why'd you, why'd you do that to the guy? I mean, he's a little dude. You know, you should have just gotten a fight with him and beat him up that way. You didn't have to bust his head open. Uh, that one, and then there was another one when uh, I think it was Bubba and my partner got a little like confrontation. They were, they were arguing about something. They were, Anthony got in a fight with somebody, and I think Bubba went to grab Anthony and pull them back. I think him and Jack were getting in an argument. And uh, it was, I wasn't there. I was at my house. I had still had the halo on my head. And uh, yeah, we were pissed off about that because Bubba grabbed Anthony. See, Bubba, instead of Bubba grabbing New Jack, he grabbed Anthony. You know, then Anthony was just like, what the fuck are you doing grabbing me? You know what I mean? Like, you should grab him, not me. And they almost went blows to blow. But at the time, uh, Ravishing Rick Rude was with us because he was bringing me back and uh, against Shane Douglas and all that stuff. So Rick Rude pretty much hand, tried to break everything up. Mm. I um, I actually spoke to Blue Meanie a few weeks ago, and he mentioned uh, Anthony versus New Jack, and it ended up being somewhat of a stalemate and no one really getting the upper hand. Uh, but I didn't know that you weren't there for that. But uh, the only thing I'm, I heard... I'm, I'm, listen, I was very, very, very close with New Jack. People don't realize, like a lot of people don't even know that, okay? Me and New Jack were like this. I mean, he would call me once, twice a week just to check in to make sure I'm okay. That's how he, that's how Jack is. Class act. Yeah. yeah I think um, New Jack, there's two sides of a coin with New Jack and, and, the, and the, not the same coin. There's just the, there's the absolute maniac and there's a very, very nice guy as well because I think who else did I speak to? Francine and just said... Really misunderstood, wacky and everything, but he was a lovely guy. Very nice. Like I said, he I, I never knew. I didn't realize until he started calling me because we were starting to check up on each other. You know, when everybody started dying, you know, it was getting bad. And uh, I was very, I would always call him Jerome because we were so tight. You know, I, he his new Jack gimmick was a gimmick. I mean, he really was a nice guy. You ever, if you, I, I stayed at his place, he cooked for me. The guy's a hell of a cook. You know, so he was a great dude. I mean, it's uh, it's a shame that everybody believed the gimmick, which is good. He fooled everybody. You know, I had guys call me like Balls Mahoney, Axel Rotten. Oh, I'm going to uh, – New Jack wants to kick my ass. Can you help me out? And I'm like, dude, you're grown men. You handle your own business. I'm not getting involved in your shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how I left it, you know? 